Happy Preparation Day, family. The Shabbat is coming. You know, I was just sitting here um, as I'm completing my preparation for the Sabbath. You know, preparation is, is not just physical things that we do. It's also spiritual things that we prepare to enter into the Most High God's Sabbath. And while I was sitting here, I just, I, I thought of a question that I want to propose. What was the first covenant that Father Yahuwah made with the true nation of Israel? What was the first covenant that he made with us? I just want you to ponder and think about that thing for just a a minute. What was the first covenant that he made with us? You know, our minds, if we if we follow the most high God's laws, statutes, and commandments, and we do our study to our to approve ourselves unto him, you know, the first uh, precept that normally comes to mind is Exodus chapter twenty four, verse eight. When uh, Moses led the nation of Israel Israel into the covenant with the Most High God with the sprinkling of the blood. I'm not talking about that one. What was the first covenant? It was a perpetual covenant that he entered in with the nation of Israel. Just give you a second to think about that thing. Let's go to Genesis chapter 2, and we're going to read verses 2 and 3. Genesis chapter 2, and we're going to read verses 2 and 3. This is why the Sabbath is so important. Give you a chance to get there. Genesis chapter 2, and we're going to read verses 2 and 3. Genesis chapter 2, verse 2. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. Verse 3. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that, it, that in it, he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Now, we don't see covenant here, but this is the first covenant that he made with us. Okay? Let me show you why. Let's go to Exodus chapter 31. Let's see this this, let's look at this precept and see this first covenant that he entered in with us. Exodus chapter 31. Let me get there. Let me get there. Exodus chapter 31. And let's start at, at verse 12. Exodus chapter 31, verse 12. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations. Now, let me just pause right there. When I, when I see the word sign, it reminds me of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 46. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46, the Most High God used Moses again. And in that verse, he told Moses to tell the nation of Israel that these curses that my people will be going through in these last days will be a sign unto them to let them know who they are. Well, here it is again. In Exodus chapter 31, 
in verse 13, he says, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. He's the one that sanctifies us. Okay. Pay close attention. This Sabbath, this weekly high holy day is so important. Verse 14. Ye shall, ye shall keep the Sabbath therefore, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whatsoever, for whosoever doth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest. Holy to the Lord, whosoever doth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Verse 16, wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. He made that covenant with us in Exodus, I mean, uh, in Genesis chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. It's a perpetual covenant. It's forever. Okay? Now, let's read verse 17. Pay close attention. This is an emphasis verse that I want to point out. This is the biblical definition for the Sabbath. The Most High God in this verse is going to tell us what we need to do on the Sabbath. Okay? Verse 17. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel. Here it is again. He's saying, saying it again. It is a sign between the Most High God and the true nation of Israel. I'm going to start from the top again. It is, it is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day, he rested and was refreshed two points I want to bring out this scripture out this particular verse he rested and he was refreshed he rested and he was refreshed now let's take a look at the Hebrew meaning for rested okay it is a verb uh, the uh, the transliteration is sabbat. Okay, it is to to cease, desist, rest, put an end to, to remove whatever you would have been doing for the six days prior to the Sabbath. You must remove that thing. Okay, and the bottom portion says to keep. Or observe the Sabbath. Okay. This is our, uh, our Hebrew meaning for rested. Now. Father Yahuwah said. He also. Received something else. When he rested on the Sabbath. He said he did it. To be refreshed. What is the Hebrew meaning. For refreshed. It is a verb. Um. And it says to take breath, refresh oneself. Okay, now let's take a look at this Strong's definition. It says primitive root to breathe, passively to, to, to be breathed upon. Now, if we're honoring the Most High God Sabbath, the Most High God wants to refresh us and he wants us to receive rest. But in particular, when he says he wants to refresh us, he wants to breathe upon us. Okay. And if we're running around, not honoring the Sabbath, being amongst, amongst heathen nations, doing what we normally do on the six days, the Most High cannot breathe upon us 
Okay? Now, the two precepts I want to give you to receive this breath. Yeah, the first one I want to give you is Job chapter 33 verse 4. Let, let, let me get there. Let me go to Job. Job chapter 33. And I want to read verse 4. Job, I'm almost there. Job, not going to take up too much of your time on this preparation day. Because we all need to get ready to enter in to this perpetual covenant which we are so blessed to have on a weekly basis. Job chapter 33 verse 4. It says, The Spirit of God hath made me and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. Okay? The breath of the Almighty has given me life. What gives us life? What is he breathing upon us to give us life? Let's go to Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. This is in the Apocrypha. Let me get there. Let me get there. Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. What is this that he's breathing, breathing upon us to give us life? His breath signifies what we must be doing on a daily basis. But in our rest on the Sabbath, he breathes this upon us to receive life, to refresh us. Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law of that endure forever, all they that keep it shall come to life. If we keep and honor this commandment, this one commandment of honoring his Sabbath, if we keep it, we'll receive this rest and this refreshment of breath to give us life to continue to work out, to walk out this journey that he's called us to walk out. Enduring in these last days. Let me go back to that verse. It says, And the law that endure forever, all they that keep it shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. We're going to honor this Sabbath. We're going to honor it so we can rest and receive him breathing these commandments into our lives. Amen? All praises. All praises. Okay, now at the bottom of that verse in Baruch chapter four, verse one, it says, but such as leave it shall die. We don't want to dishonor these covenants, these commandments, uh, because the scripture says that in this natural life, things will start dying and then we won't have the opportunity, opportunity to receive uh, um this eternal life, when Yahawashai breaks those clouds and return with his rewards, he's going to have either a reward of eternal salvation or he's going to have a reward of eternal damnation. We want to be on the right side and receive that reward of eternal salvation. Now at the bottom of that verse it says, but such as leave it shall die. Such as those that don't follow these laws, statutes, and commandments, you're going to die. You're going to die in certain areas of your life and you won't be, be able to receive this eternal salvation. Okay. Moses warned us of this. What did our forefather Moses warn us would happen if we broke Father Yahuwah's covenants? This Sabbath is a perpetual covenant. We must not break the Sabbath. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 26, and we're going to read verses 14 through 18. Leviticus chapter 26. Now, Leviticus chapter 26 is the first warning that Moses gave us because we weren't honoring the Most High God's law, statutes, and commandments, and he warned us in this chapter what would happen to us. 
And we didn't listen to that warning. And that's the reason why he had to warn us again in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because we were stiff-necked people. We still stiff-necked people uh, to this day. We don't honor Father Yahuwah's laws, statutes, and commandments, and his covenants. Okay? Let's read Leviticus chapter 26 verse 14. But if you will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments... And if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but break ye, but, but that ye break my covenant. Remember, in Exodus chapter 31, the Sabbath is a perpetual covenant. And Moses is telling us right here in verse, verse 15. It says, so that ye will not do all my covenants, but that ye break. I misspoke. So that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenants. I also will do this unto you. I will appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning ague that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of the heart. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. And I will set my face against you. We don't want the Most High God to set his face against us, our families, and our children. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. We're seeing that all over the world. Because we're breaking the Most High God's covenant. And I'm specifically talking about the Sabbath. It's a perpetual covenant. We must enter into rest to receive this refreshment of him breathing upon us. The breath of life is what we receive on the Sabbath. Verse 17. The bottom portion of verse 17. They that hate you shall reign over you and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. Verse 18. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. We don't want, we don't want to fall into the most high God's hands and be punished seven times more because we're not doing his commandments and keeping his covenants. I just want to encourage you on this preparation day. Take some time to get your spirit right, to enter into this weekly perpetual covenant. Y'all the main ones I'm watching on my throne Created everything but I called you my own That land I gave you put my name on it my home Yeah that's my home Israel, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob I made a promise can't nobody take it I chose to put you above all the nations Out of your graves I chose to awaken We made a covenant don't you forsake it Come get protected while they going crazy Israel my firstborn my baby Israel my firstborn my baby I woke you up in your land of captivity I do not change I want you to remember me Laws and commandments I gave you the remedy Go read the testimonies for your memory I said them prophets but you was not hearing me I come to you if you really come near to me I heard your cry now it's time to take it to me I don't know what got you from all of your enemies Who you know open the sea Them waters are bitter but I made it sweet In case you ain't know how to swim I'm, I'm your protector so I made you walk on your feet This a reminder you married to me I just want you to be all I called you to be They called you niggas but I made you priests I'm about to give you back everything I'm sending plagues for you I'm sending boys drying up rivers I leave them dead for you To Pharaoh let my people go You heard what I said for you Tell Pharaoh, let my people go. You heard what I said for you. For you, you only ever know. 
Y'all the main ones I'm watching on my throne Created everything, but I called you my own That land I gave you, put my name on it, my home uh, Yeah, that's my home, he's red I'm the reason you in it, captivity We made a covenant, you ain't remember me You broke the covenant, I sent your enemies Get out my lane since you wasn't fearing me I'm, I'm, I'm the reason they put you in chains I'm the reason they switched up your name I'm the reason why you in the hood I'm the reason of all your pain I'm sending fluids fast daily Think I don't love you, y'all my babies Gave my son, must be crazy Come out that system, come out of that lady They got that military, it would not phase me It would not move me, it would not graze me Remember Egypt, I did all that for my people You only ever know Y'all the main ones I'm watching on my throne Created everything, but I called you my own that land I gave you, put my name on it, my home. Uh, yeah, that's my home. You only ever know. Y'all the main ones I'm watching on my throne. Created everything, but I called you my own. That land I gave you, put my name on it, my home. Yeah, that's my home. He's real.